Hello, world. All right, my topic is the circadian rhythm. I stumbled on this topic because I was, I'm on YouTube a lot, you know what I mean? That's where I get my information. And I found a podcast by Andrew Huberman. He's a neurobiologist at Stanford University. His podcast will focus on whatever topic for three to four weeks at a time. The first four weeks was all about sleep, which is the circadian rhythm. So after watching these episodes, I realized how important this is for everyone, especially when it comes to mental health and college students and even professors. Oh, yeah. um, so I stumbled on a few articles. One of them was called the circadian rhythm disruption in mental health, right? This article basically explained the circadian rhythm as your biological clock that is dictated off of light. So day, night, all of us have that clock which determines your health, your mental health, how your body adapts to whatever atmosphere, if your muscles recover or not for the next day, right? So the circadian rhythm is extremely important. This is your biological clock. And we there's studies of people going into caves for 72 hours or so, and it completely changes who they are. Usually it leads to depression. That's why you have a lot of night shift, any shift workers like nurses, God bless you, you're incredible, or doctors, anything like that, you're working overnight, your clock is completely shifted. And you'll, I, I have a lot of friends that are actually nurses and I'll tell them to record a video prior to going on night shift so they can watch that video however many months in and realize they're thinking differently because their clock is off, right? So there's ways to shift this clock. There is measure of light is measured in lux. So you can get, try to get at least 100,000 lux per morning prior to 9 a.m. It's very important to wake up prior to the sun being above a certain point. This is gonna get you as much light to your eyes and kind of shift that biological clock. You can also limit the light closer to bedtime. That's where the blue blockers kind of come in. There's like a lot of false ideas around blue blockers, but limit your light at the end of the day. And then sleep consistency is much more important in living a healthy life based off your circadian rhythm than numbers of hours slept, right? So you're better off sleeping from 10 to 3 a.m. every single day versus 10 to five, nine to nine, right? Sleep consistency is key. Then we got supplements. So I personally have tried out supplements. I got a lot of supplement uh, suggestions from the Andrew Huberman podcast, the Huberman Lab podcast. So I tried out magnesium, uh, the most bioavailable. So your body uses and uh, will take, be the most efficient type of magnesium is magnesium trionate, right? That's the most efficient bioavailable for us. There's a lot of magnesium supplements, magnesium citrate, my make you, yep, mm hmm And, uh, but trionate's the one that I use. It helps you sleep, it just helps you relax. Sometimes it can uh, kind of give you a little messed up stuff with your heart. So definitely try it out in small doses or consult with a physician. I am not a physician by any means. Then we got L-theanine. L-theanine, if you look on the back of an energy drink, a lot of times they'll put theanine because it calms you down. So you can take theanine prior to going to sleep. It can even help you sleep a little deeper and get into REM sleep, getting dreams. If you're not dreaming, you're probably not hitting REM sleep, which is not a good thing. So you need to look into that. You also have tryptophan. This is just one of the, it's a serotonin precursor. So for me personally, I like to take it, I'll go like three days on, three days off, so your body doesn't get used to it. But tryptophan, some people I've heard, you have some wild, crazy, creepy dreams. I have some good dreams and I sleep pretty well from it, so I like it. Then, I'm gonna give you a little bit of tips. So, tips to help get your circadian rhythm into check or just sleep better at night. You have NSDR, non-sleep deep rest. These are protocols, protocols, you can get them on YouTube. Michael Seeley, he's got a soothing, sexy voice. I like to listen to that. It can be anywhere from 15 minutes to two hours. It's kind of, if you wake up in the middle of the night, can't fall back asleep, you can listen to that. You can do it in the middle of the day for 15 minutes. I do that just to recover a little bit. Then you have blue light, the myth on it, right? Blue light is great during the day. Get blue light. You need your eyes to get light. It's good. Never so much that it hurts, but get blue light. Blue light blockers, they're good at the end of the day. So getting closer to when you are actually gonna go to bed 
you need to tone down the amount of light you get. With that being said, one of the best things you can do is catch the sunset, also the sunrise. But if you're catching sunset, sunrise, or switch them, you're going to shift that clock that your internal clock, your circadian rhythm takes control of that. It says, okay, this is morning, this is night, this is when I need to sleep. Yes. Then you got the whoop. That's my little wrist thing. No, it doesn't tell time, so that's kind of annoying. But what it does do is it records, there's a nap. It records your sleep, your recovery. So we have my recovery, right? Don't look at that. You know what I'm saying? I had a sip of alcohol. It really shuts you down. But HRV, your heart rate variability, that's how adaptable your heart is to any situation. We got resting heart rate. Whoop also has a podcast, which is a good source to go for if you want any knowledge on the Whoop band or anything like that. Record your respiratory rate, and then it records your sleep, how long your consistency. Good God, mine's off. But Whoop or any type of sleep device, it's very good because it helps measure your sleep and it gives you somewhat of a good, somewhat accurate reading of if you're getting REM, if it's just light sleep or if it is good deep sleep, which is the sleep you need to feel well rested in the morning. So all of this together, it was a lot. It can help you kind of shift your clock so you have a good circadian rhythm. It's all in check and your life will improve because you're gonna be happier mentally and you're gonna feel a lot better physically. So, sleep is important. We need it. Go get some or do your homework.